All right, then, welcome back to a very special tool time. Al, I guess we should move back to our interview area. Better yet, let's have the interview area move to us. Good idea. Heidi, the interview area, please. Here you go, Tim. We were fortunate enough to have the crew of the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Today, we're honored to meet the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia. It's amazing it's there, right? Yes, it is. Especially after you tried to steal one of the Endeavor crew's space tools. I didn't steal one. I borrowed it in case I was taking my family to the gas giant. That would be Jupiter, not your mother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a warm welcome for the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia. who's been here with us before on Tool Time, is with the Space Shuttle Endeavor last time. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Tim. For the record, I'd just like to say that you did try to steal that tool. <laughs> <laughs> and for the record, just like to say Bower Socks is still a real funny name. <laughs> Next to Ken is Katie Coleman. <laughs> and next to her, Captain Thornton, who spent over a thousand hours in space. Tim, but 21 of those hours were outside the cabin. You didn't need to get away from Ken, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tim, we were doing things like trying to repair the Hubble Space Telescope. Ah, uh, you don't have to cover for him. <laughs> and last but not least, payload specialists, Fred Leslie and Al Sacco. <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question that I'm sure most of us want to know. Your mother's worried about you being in outer space, Ken? Uh, no, my mom never has a problem with me orbiting around the Earth. She only gets nervous when I fly in those smaller planes. <laughs> Jill, I'm sure she's just kidding around. <laughs> so, uh, Al, guess what I have in common with all these astronauts? You've all had a fire lit under your butt and shot into space? <laughs> well, that and a PhD. If you remember a couple months ago, I got a PhD. All the astronauts also a PhD. Actually, Tim, that's not true. Everyone has one but me. Well, isn't that a shame, Ken? <laughs> Do you guys razz him for not having a doctor? No, we don't, Tim. Why not? Because he's the commander. <laughs> uh, Fred, why don't you tell us a little something about what you guys did up there? Well, we had a 16-day mission where we conducted a number of scientific experiments. And we focused on things like the physics of fluids. <laughs> Give me a couple of beers, I'll teach you all you know about physics of fluids. <laughs> Then I guess our mission was completely unnecessary. <laughs> Before the astronauts went up in space, I, uh, I put a little care pack together for NASA. A special <coughs> screwdriver I made and some classic episodes of Tool. And they came in very handy. Who got to use the screwdriver? That was me, Tim. I brought along a videotape of me using it in space. Thanks, Captain. All right, let's take a look at it. Congratulations, Tim, on your first intergalactic screw-up. <laughs> well, you enjoyed the Tool Time episode, didn't you? We watched them every night. It really helped us unwind after a hard day in space. Go ahead and take a look at that. <laughs> ah, the porta potty episode. <laughs> you never slept better, Tim. Have you ever seen us pick up our dirty laundry before? 
no, you're right, but now you can pick it up and go put it on the washing machine, okay? You're still not talking to me. Oh, honey. Look, look, I got you something really cool. This is a P38 Lightning. Keep it. Don't care about planes anymore. Well, couldn't you find another hobby? Like what? Stamp collecting? Well, that'd be good. Our coins or paperweights. I, as a child, collected butterflies. I, as a child, could care less. <laughs>
did, right? I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs>